What up, what up, what up, though? You know what's going down every time I upload. It's your man, Phoenix Sunny. Back with some more of that true story, no more. You know what I do. Y'all know what I do. You don't know? Give you that news you can use. Who they run to to get that one to. Yeah. And that's a true story. You know it's also a true story? You liking and subscribing if you digging what the vibe is. You hear me? Let's go. We back. Back with another one. Sports talk though. Sports talk though. For my NFL fans out there. Sports talk. Now I'm not a fan of sports, but I do still watch when they get interesting. And it's been interesting. You know, I still pay attention. I still follow. Just not a fanatic anymore. Um, my team is out of it, the 49ers. Shout out. We will be back, though. We will be back. We'll be back. Believe that. So, um, shout out my 49ers. We did what we did. L.A. Rams. The L.A. Rams beat us. They in the Super Bowl. The Bengals pulled it off against the Chiefs. Ain't see that one coming. Ain't see that one coming. Oh, it was a live one, too. So we got the Bengals and, and, and L.A. Williams in the Super Bowl. Yeah, that's what's going on. Crazy one. I think the Super Bowl is going to be a crazy one. But even bigger news than that. Even bigger news than that. What's even crazier? Is how long it took Tom Brady to say he retired when good God almighty. Oh, man. You talking about a slow death. Man, they drug this one out. First he was retiring. Everybody came out said he was retiring. And they had to come out and said it was wrong. Then they came back out and said he retired. And his father said, nah, y'all tripping. My son ain't retiring. Nothing. But here it is, people. Here it is. Tom Brady, what they call a goat. He ain't no goat in my eyes. Shout out my boy, Peyton Manning. Shout out my boy, Joe Montana. Those are goats to me. I don't know nothing about Tom Brady. I ain't hear nothing about my boys ever cheating. Wasn't no deflate gates, wasn't no spy gates, wasn't none of that. We, ain't, we got what we got, we got it humbly. We got it off the muscle. I can't say the same for Brady. So if it's any Brady uh, fans that are subscribed to me, it's all love. It's all love, you know. But off the field, that's where the love at. When we talking on the field, when we talking about these type of things, they all bets are off. And your mans, somebody come get your mans. Now, here's the funny part. Did he retire because he wanted to retire? I don't know. I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure. I think um, Brady might have been forced up out of the game. I think he might have been forced out. Why? I'm glad you asked. I didn't think you would ask. I think he might have been forced out, not because he can't throw no more, not because he can't read the defense. I don't think that's it. However, however, I do believe that um, Brady's wife said, I'm not going another season with these kids by myself. Those days are over with. I believe that's what happened in this one, people. Read between the lines for all those who's paying attention. That man kept stating about how, you know, he gave the game and how, he you know, he still, he know he can still play the game, but it's time to do something different. It's another game calling him now and X, Y, Z, but he took too long to take to make this decision. He, I don't think that man wanted to retire, people. I think the wife put that boot down on him. 
and let him know, oh yeah, you coming to the next PTA meeting, sir. Oh yeah, you gonna be the goat over here for a minute. Let's try that. Mm-hmm. Let's try you being the goat taking the trash out of something. I'm tired of doing this by myself. I think he was forced out the game, people. Anybody who's been in them streets before, you know, doing whatever you might have done to get your money, you might can relate to something of this nature, you know, being forced out the game. When your baby mama, you know, your lady, crack down and be like, you know, I'm tired of you going to jail, tired of money, you money, tired of ups and downs, and I'm up right now, and then I'm going to get it back in. It's nigga shooting at you, and you know, you know. Yeah. And if you don't, I'm packing my stuff and I'm going back with my mama and all that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Ah, oh, man, true story. You already know that. You might have been through it. You might know what I'm talking about. At least somewhat. Um, that might be what Brady going through right now. Might be what he going through. Now, am I mad that he's retiring? Not at all. Take your deflating football, fake Super Bowl winning, cheating, number stat padding, NFL favorite poster boy creating rules so you can get off and can't hit the quarterback no more. Get him up out of here. Pack him up. Pack him up. Get him gone. We ain't going to miss him at all. Nope. And that's a true story. You already know that. You already know that. But yeah, man, I just had to touch down and talk to my people right quick about Tom Brady retiring because that's big news. That's big news. The NFL poster boy is gone. And I don't think they got a set poster boy to put in this place yet. So it's going to be interesting for the next few years to see the battle for that, that spot. You know. They're going to watch him battle out, and they're going to choose one to be the poster boy. They always choose one, and then you're going to be the golden child for a little bit. So we'll see who the next golden child is. It was looking like it might have been Patrick Mahomes, but I don't know. He ain't holding up. Chiefs are starting to look like the uh, the old Eagles, you know, the team that's always right there. Get, this, get to the Super Bowl and get right there, AFC, NFC championships and whatever, but then just can't close it out. And I think the Chiefs might just have been one of them ones that lucky enough to pop one early. But um, yeah, Patrick Mahomes, I think he's uh one and three in the Super Bowl or something like that. From from wrong, correct me down below. Let me know, cause it's a true story. You know, we got we got. We, I want to keep it true, but I want to say he is three and one. I mean, excuse me, one out of three in the Super Bowl. So he lost more than he won. And then they just got cracked by the Bengals this year. And we going to say they Patrick Mahomes' fault? Well, I guess you ain't watched that game. Woo! Yeah. Yeah, he killed it for them. That's for, that, yeah, that's a for shit show. Stop playing with him. Hey, Amen. Like I said, just wanted to tap in about Tom Brady. Making his farewell. We'll see you later. Ain't never been a hater. But I'm going to speak the truth when I'm in the booth. So, um, you know what it is. True story, no more. And um, keep it going. You know, we're going to keep it going and do what we do. I'm going to see y'all again. Like and subscribe. You know, share. Do all that. Comment down below. Let me know um, what's your thoughts on Brady retiring. You know what I mean? And um, who y'all got in the Super Bowl? Who y'all got? Uh, I think I, I think I'm um I think I'm gonna go with uh the Rams on this one. I think I'm gonna go with the Rams. You know what I mean? If all those fellas bet on blue, that's how I feel about life. So till next time, people. You know, love you like I love you. True story, no more. One hundred.